I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, Gemini. It's a full moon reading. The full moon is under the sign of Libra and Scorpio. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, what is the full moon message? It's a pink moon, Gemini. All about love. You are the card of love. You're the lovers. Do you have a choice in love? Mm. This is an opportunity for movement where love is concerned, but it does require that somebody get honest with their self. So there's an opportunity for movement, but honesty somehow. Hmm. Okay, Spirit said, read honesty. Honesty for Gemini. Someone's got to get honest. Okay. Before they can get Gemini, now is the time to be absolutely honest with yourself about what you want, what you're thinking about, what your motives and real feelings are. Honesty is the way to truly step up your power. When you choose honesty above all else as your goddess, you are sent courage to do what's right. This is also a time to demand honesty and integrity from others. You have a right to get a clear message. There is the greatest freedom and power in telling the truth. You have chosen this symbol of clarity and true communication. What? Honesty always moves everything forward, right? Okay, spirits say, yep, move, read movement. Mm hmm. Okay. Honesty allows things to move forward. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. If you have been waiting for something, you will soon have it. Clarity. You will get answers. Your thought. You'll get the answers you thought would never come, and you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you're taking or always wanted to take. The symbol for movement can indicate both a change of scenery and a real shift in the direction of your life. No matter what this symbol holds for your question, know that wonderful change is now possible. This is the time to make your move. This is a time of change and movement. And it's also a symbol for wonderful surprises. Lie ahead for you, Gemini, the lovers. You have a choice here. I say that every day we have a choice. It could involve a cancer. Um... You two could be distant and there needs to be some movement to close the gap. But this requires honesty. Okay, Spirit is like, shut up, Moody, and get some cards on the table, Miss Honesty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> is there something more? Movements. I see a lot of movement. I see that somebody's ready. You know, we usually don't move until we're ready. Some of us can remain stuck forever. Stuck and settling. Mm, that's why we got to get honest, right? Are we stuck and settling? And if that is, we got to break that energy up. And that's what this full moon allows us to do in terms of love. Something else is needed but somebody's at a crossroads i don't know why because they're not being honest with their self spirit just said mm, holding on to old feelings the past not willing to change old patterns wanting to control love 
rather than just focusing on controlling ourselves. I don't know who this is for. That's what Spirit just said. Mm -hmm. does, does somebody want to control you or somebody's trying to control a situation? Your situation in love specifically? You're making a choice. Uh, this is about love and you are Gemini. Well, that's right. Somebody had a fall. I, the first thing that came to mind was Humpty Dumpty had a fall. Something fell. Something fell apart. Cracked into a million pieces. There was a fall which created movement. That is what made you two start to move apart. You, somebody realized they were settling. When they got honest with the situation... They had learned everything that they could possibly learn from that situation, and it was time to move on. But there was a feeling of being stuck, and so moving really involved much more than just walking out the door or seeing somebody else, uh, emotional movement. Um, you know, this movement is physical, emotional, spiritual movement. This is a tower for me at the center. Mm. It's what taking initial steps leads to everything being broken up and giving you a fresh start and that's kind of like the death card and ending the tower bringing an ending and forcing a new start sometimes we need that we're just at a crossroads looking trying to figure it out but no answers are coming but spirit says the answers are there get honest with yourself mm. Somebody's stuck because they're still thinking of the past. The Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the past. The past, that's what all of this is about. Where you feel comfortable, where you've settled. It's keeping you stuck. And Spirit says it needs to be blown apart. This is current energy. But if it's not blown apart, if you continue to doubt and go back and forth and be at a crossroads, then... You're going to have the same thing. The past is going to be in the future. What? Same stuff. You're going to be moody as hell. Somebody's moody as hell, five of swords, because here they are in the same fight. You know, when we make a promise to ourselves, I'm not going to fall for any energy that makes me settle or feel stuck that's not adding to me that's what you're walking away from you've learned your lesson you're being honest with yourself i do you see you taking control i see you recharging refocusing retreating preparing i see you spending some time alone and getting back in touch with what it is that you want that's right, Gemini. You know this is an important time, an important choice to be made when it comes to love. No more settling. No more feeling stuck, being afraid. All of that's being broken apart. That's right. So you didn't know what to expect in the past. And we never know everything. Even in the current, we don't know everything. And we damn sure don't know everything in the future. So get used to not knowing. But the point is not being comfortable with settling for something that your heart is telling you. It's not satisfying you. That's what I'm hearing. When the hermit is reversed, it's like you're not comfortable with yourself because you're settling. Gemini, yeah, you're ready for that to be broken apart. Somebody's ready to make a decision, and that's when the lesson shows up. That's when the honesty comes out. Somebody gets truthful, truth and clarity. Absolutely. The magician appears. Boom. It, you become clear on what you want when it comes to love, and then you start to believe that you can have it, and that it's coming, and that you deserve it, and that is what blows the past apart. That's where you start to think differently about love. Something is changing you right now. It's important whatever's happening. Look at that. Feelings. New set of feelings. They're small, but you recognize it. Right. Right. 
you know, also you have fertile land to build something. You're starting over, but you know what? You're taking baby steps. That's how you win, by being decisive and not letting anything external change the way that you feel internally at this time. Hmm. Yeah, from time to time, some of you think Eight of Swords of the past, woulda, coulda, shoulda, but quickly you change, you remember the conflicts, the mood swings, the trust issues, the manipulation, the control, the old patterns, and that allows you to appreciate being alone, to be the hermit upright. That is what's bringing in this Ace of Pentacles, qualifying self-care, putting yourself first, not settling, getting in touch with what you want from love, and then it comes. It's like you manifest it. That's all you think about, starting over, winning this victory, not being caught up in your head, allowing people to make you an emotional puppet. No, no. Oh, you're definitely taking control here, Gemini. There you go. There you go. All right. You're clear. You're clear. You're taking small steps, but they're the right steps. You don't get the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you're rebuilding. After this destruction, you're taking the proper steps. Slow and easy. Slow and easy. That's what I hear. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, once you mature, you're not so willing to give that cup away because you're building it and so you're going to value it more. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, regarding this new love. Mm. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Everything. You, them, the flow of life right now. Just be in the flow. Absolutely. That's what the magician is in. He bangs his drum knowing that as long as he remains patient and continues to manifest what it is they want, think upon it, believe it, it shall be, and then it starts. It's small. Sometimes at the things that start small, then develop the momentum. Like they gather momentum that makes it solid. That's why you end up with this Ace of Pentacles. This is a blessing because you were patient. You were not only patient, but it's what you did with your time while you waited on it and. That's what spirit saw, and that's what he's bringing this special person to you. It's in divine timing. You're allowing nature to take its course because you're now focused on you, Gemini, on the lover's card. The lover's card is the real deal, right? It is, and it's going to come when you least expect it, when you're focused on you rebuilding yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Boom! Love walks in the door. Somehow it's catching your attention. Tell me more about this love. You know I want to know all about it. Give us the 411. Look, this is about boundaries, sensible boundaries that you established in the past that don't allow you to settle anymore. Actually, the honesty is what broke the barriers, any constrictions regarding love gave you a new playing field, enlightened you. You know, the full moon is about something being revealed that you don't got to settle, Gemini. You learned that lesson and now you're so much more decisive. You have healthy boundaries and you're preserving your heart for the right love. Nothing. Nothing is able to attract, to entrap you. Again, a thought here or there about the past, but nothing that you are entertaining for any length of time. Absolutely not. 
Three of Wands is how you're waiting. And that's why the blessing comes in. Did I tell you? I did. Tell me more, Spirit. Gemini. Oh, yeah. This is what you're waiting for. An eternal, unbreakable connection. The right connection. Somebody you meet in the middle. Two hearts are meeting in the middle. Making a eternal, unbreakable connection. All about these sensible boundaries leading to the right connection. Like putting up sensible boundaries around your heart. Right? Mm -hmm. Avoiding confusion. That's right. You know, this truth has shown you confusion. You are so much more alert to the BS. And, you know, do any questions, anything you don't know, because you do have the moon here, like us all, we don't know. But we have to remember, we can always ask Divine to provide the answer. Mm. He just did. This is somebody you're ready to give your heart to. They're ready to give their heart to you. And you begin to feel your heart's beating closer. Wow, you two may even make the heart sign. Or one of you make the heart sign to the other. I don't know. I do know that this connection does not show up in confusion. That's the first thing that you notice about it. That's what is the first indicator that this is true love. And then... The way it showed up, it was totally unexpected, Gemini. What? Look, at that's because you were vibrating very high. You learned from your lessons, and that allowed you to transcend where it comes. No more love, settling for love. No, you're in flight. And that higher vibration is what is bringing you into union. You're being guided spiritually. Mm hmm. You have a new attitude where love is concerned. It's the right attitude. You're making the right choice, right? Some of you are old school. You know that works in your favor. You know how to bring the old school. The old school is the foundation of music, manners, um, where, you know, you had to work. In love, you had to work harder for everything in the old day, making it more worth it. That's what I see for you. Yeah, you're replaying um, some of your characteristics that have worked for you in the past, and you're recognizing those that are outdated, that no longer fit your new definition of love. That's right. That's what you're focused on. New ships are coming in. This is like the um six of swords uh, ships coming in it's like absolutely it's like your ships are coming in this progress something new's arriving get ready get ready yeah, this is your soulmate. This is what we were talking about. This is when Spirit said the universe is guiding you to that special per person. Allow everything to take its natural course. <laughs> this is the ultimate. That's the ultimate, right? That's why you're getting out the way and you're letting Spirit take the helm. Hmm. Okay, what else does Gemini need to be aware of regarding love at this time? This new love coming in. Something else, Spirit, that you want to say for Gemini at this time regarding new love? What they should be aware of, Spirit. What should Gemini be aware of? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit says you need to be aware of all of your strengths so that you can use them. Okay. 
We all have superpowers, but it's up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. This inspires others to do the same. Ask yourself, how can I use one of my soul's gifts today to contribute to this open and ready world? Absolutely. Your gifts can also bring you a higher vibration because that's your creativity, right? That's love that's elevating your vibration. So some of you should be focusing on your gifts for sure, but it's taking action. It's taking action definitely in something you love towards someone you love. It's all about love. It starts with you. And until you have that someone, you are being told to uncover some superpowers that may have laid dormant or maybe you haven't even recognized them yet but you're being inspired to come out of your comfort zone Gemini Hmm. the way you love also is a gift I just heard that it's time for you to contribute that gift to the world you've got more inside of you Absolutely. Spirit says, what am I looking for outside of myself that is already in me? That is the magician if I ever saw it. You are looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love. Or is it something else? When we reach and search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward and find everything you ask for. Seek. All your answers you need lie within. Breathe in your favorite essence oil. Inhale deeply. In your belly, drop your shoulders, spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. Be ready to receive it. I love that. Some things to help Gemini get ready, loving their self. Sex, it fell, 44. Mm. Mm-hmm. Definitely, sex is about creating, right? Creativity, expression, sexual expression is important. Some of you um, have a lesson regarding sexual expression, You are old school. Some of you are old school when it comes to sex. And that's good because that eliminates the confusion. Yeah, you are not looking outside of yourself at this moment, knowing all your strengths lie within. But sex may bring some confusion, cause you to pause for a minute. Eight of swords have you entrapped. Okay, spirit. Yeah, and I I just think this is the time Mm -hmm. where it's about building, building your feelings back. Because you're still vulnerable. You need more time to heal. And sometimes sex just skews everything. Your spirit says connect with the earth and focus on your abundance by coming up with a plan, managing your money, coming up with a step-by-step plan on what needs to be done as you, because you've ascended. This is different. You need to journal this. You need to pay attention. This can be a distraction. I, you know it can, Gemini. You know it can. Okay. Anything else? Connecting with Earth, Gemini. Mm-hmm. And move, move. Two cards of movement saying now is the time. You're on the move. 
physically on the move, mentally on the move, spiritually on the move. No more settling. It's all about making that move, baby. Now is the time to move. Exercise also. Exercise that will help you stay grounded and connected. Okay. Mm. What else, spirit? About love for Gemini. What else about this pink moon? This compassionate energy leading them back, moving Gemini towards love, making healthier choices in love, new boundaries, bring some old school flavor to new soulmates, leading to true love, cutting old ties, not letting sex motivate them. Mm. Not letting sex take them outside of their self. Gnawing on their strengths. Or distracting them from recognizing new strengths. Ooh, okay. I don't know who that was for, but... Mm. Yeah, this is about your stability, your success, growth. Whatever you're doing now, there's a permanence to it. And spirit wants it to endure. Flexibility is very important now, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a mutable sign. Usually you go with it. You go with the flow. And you're definitely being encouraged to do that now. That's going to ensure your stability. Spirit saying also indulge yourself, um, indulge yourself in things that connect you with stability, um, focusing on you planning. Now is a time of planning while you heal, giving yourself time to heal by focusing on your next step, putting it in writing before you take it. Absolutely. Self-indulgence is focusing on self, your worth, giving yourself time to heal. That's what I just said. Yes, that's what's needed here. Not so much the sex. You're going to be tempted. You know that, but you do need some time. The clock is here and things take time. Healing takes time. Cycles take time, but right now it's time to heal. That's going to bring you the most progress. You have so much inside. All these strengths and whew, a lot is in there. This is the time to harness that and really use that energy to propel you to something higher. <sighs> okay. So spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, we're going to give some final advice through angel numbers for Gemini. You're making the right choice. I see that because you've learned your lesson. You're being honest. You're keeping it real and you're ready for something new. You're ready to move on. You're ready for something more abundant. You know you ain't getting it here. You got to move forward, right? Don't look outside. Look within. You focus on you and you're going to be attracting them. You know you attract energy just naturally being you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What else? Okay. Action. That's that movement. But your first card was about any obstacles, anything in the past, honesty, and taking the lesson and leaving the drama is going to help you overcome. Yeah, in love and romance, affection, support, comfort, there are a lot of adjustments. All because you decided to move, not settle. Absolutely. Get honest. Keep it honest. Keep it green. Set sensible boundaries. Focus on you. Right? In order to get true love, you know, it started with the Ace of Cups, you focusing on your cup, filling it up, focusing on your strengths, using them wisely, not looking outside of yourself, but within major adjustments, growth. Absolutely. You have a level of self-control 
And it's sufficient to make things right, to make things change. On the horizon is the possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic relationship, as well as a chance to begin a life anew with a person from one's past even. Everything will fall into place. Look at that. You had fall, the first card. So whatever broke apart, it all falls into place. 1616, if you believe that, put 1616 because the adjustments are coming for everything to fall in place. Your job, should you decide to take this mission, Gemini, is to remember to take action, right? You opened up with movement, the need to move, to change. A new beginning is here, a fresh start. Let 10, 11... Mm. Okay. Remind you to keep moving, to keep advancing, to keep going up. Mm, I see you're hopeful about this fresh start, this new beginning. You got a new uh, bounce in your step. You're focused on your purpose, something spiritual. There's an awakening here also as a result of all of this movement. Absolutely. The blessing is that you get in contact and in touch with what true love means. You loving yourself and then to the point of overflow that somebody else wants to love you, is attracted to you. It's going to happen suddenly when you least expect it. Yes, child. Just keep taking action. This is a call to action to move. We've been there. You know you got a lot of cards telling you to move. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Holy crow. That is a great summarization of this reading. And if you agree in some capacity, give me 10, 11, or 16, 16 in the comments. Short and quick. Let's me know that you resonate with something. And that's what we're praying for. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And now is the time to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for staying to the end. You'll be blessed. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.